There isn't a whole lot of new information, but authorities wanted to explain what little they did know, as well as dispelling some of the rumors circulating since the Monday incident. This is not a case of mass hysteria, and it isn't. Now, I feel that this, the villain in the piece, is a toxic agent. I think it was a gas. Specifically, Cope believes it was carbon monoxide, although he admits he may never be able to know for sure. School windows were opened soon after the students began feeling sick, and they were given oxygen. Both actions would have eliminated any trace of the gas. Cope does have a theory that perhaps exhaust gas from the chimney got into ventilation pipes on the roof. One led to the girls' locker room where most of the 44 affected students were located. Symptoms, he said, were a textbook case of carbon monoxide poisoning. But that doesn't explain why some boys were also taken ill, or why checks of the furnaces showed they were working properly. So the mystery continues here at Peninsula Catholic. The school was sealed this afternoon, and it will remain that way until Monday. That's when new, sophisticated equipment will be brought in to check that carbon monoxide theory. If that was the cause, Dr. Culp says we're all very lucky because generally carbon monoxide kills you before you're aware it's there. In Newport News, I'm Terry Zahn, The Daily News. Peninsula Catholic High School remained closed this past weekend, the doors tightly locked. Health officials hoping to keep from escaping whatever caused 41 students to become suddenly ill exactly a week ago today. It wasn't until Friday that the first plausible explanation was heard. The villain in the piece is a toxic agent. Most likely carbon monoxide, according to Dr. William Cope, the Newport News health director. Traces of it were found in the girls' locker room. Not much, but there really shouldn't have been any. To see if the gas is still in the building, state officials today brought in sophisticated monitoring equipment designed to measure the presence of carbon monoxide over a period of days or weeks. The reason we're doing this is because if something did happen here, it might have been an unusual occurrence, which happened just briefly, and unless one monitors over time, one could miss it. But what if the villain is not CO? Do you have any reason to believe that really is carbon monoxide in there, or are you just going on what they've told you? Uh, we think it's important to rule out this possibility. And it could be ruled out. The director of the state's poison control center says the fact that some of the ill students continued feeling sick for up to three days is not typical of low-level carbon monoxide poisoning. But with few other clues to pursue, it still seems to be the best guess yet. In Newport News, Joel Rubin, The Daily News. Last Monday was orderly confusion at Peninsula Catholic. Doors and windows were opened and closed as firemen tried to air out what they first thought was a simple gas leak. In the process, the buildup of carbon monoxide, if that's what caused the mass sickness, escaped. This week, the building is sealed, and in three locations, carbon monoxide monitors are whirring away, waiting in vain so far for the toxic gas level to rise again. We found nothing uh, abnormal whatsoever. We've just found the normal background level about approximately one to two parts per million. How much carbon monoxide would have to be in the air if, if, to, to make all these kids sick? Uh, it would probably take at least several hundred parts per million in the atmosphere to reduce the symptoms that were noticed in the students. And what I think that they are trying to do everything imaginable to ascertain what happened. Carolyn Grayo is watching all the testing closely. Her 15-year-old daughter, Michelle, was one of the students who became ill. Today, Michelle's okay. She's perhaps a little bit weaker than she normally would be, but I think she gets very much better each day. Grayo doubts she'll ever know exactly why Michelle got sick. In my mind, something in that building caused the whole problem. But after all the amount of sophisticated testing, whatever it was has dissipated and i just i think we've just got to say hey we're going back to school in newport news joel rubin the daily news at this point because such a